everybody, it's Tina, and I wanted to share with you one of my favorite products, and that is our Snack Store Large. Let me tell you, this is one of the most versatile pieces of Tupperware that exists, and I'm going to share with you all the different ways that I use this. So here it is. Isn't it gorgeous? So it is a rectangular container, of course. And so a couple of things that you can use this for. It's very name, snack store, just really kind of shares that you can put lots of yummy snacks. Whether you're putting cupcakes in this or muffins or cookies, that's going to be perfect. But I'm just going to share with you that in my world, this is my 9 by 13 pan. So if I'm making any kind of no-bake dessert, now how many of you have a couple of no-bake desserts that you make? I always make it inside of this container. And here's why. If you make it in a metal pan or a glass pan, um, you end up having to cover it with plastic plastic wrap or aluminum foil. And then when you put it in the refrigerator, it's kind of balancing on the orange juice and the milk. And if you need to take it somewhere, that can really be a challenge because you know what? It's not very stable when you've just got plastic wrap or aluminum foil on something. So this is the perfect container because whether you're making some kind of delicious type of cheesecake or so many yummy recipes. If the recipe starts with um, a graham cracker crust, this is where I'm going to put it right inside and then fill it up with all of the yummies. And then the best part is no plastic wrap, no aluminum foil. So it's much better for the environment. You've got something that is not a one-time use product. You've got something that you're going to use forever. I'm going to put a seal on it. And so now with this seal on it, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I can put that milk and the orange juice right on top of it. I don't have to worry about trying to balance it curiously. So I wanted to share with you that we have a nice big tab right here. This is how you're going to remove the seal. And when you've got a large seal like this, you don't want to lift this up and peel it back because that puts a lot of undue stress on the other corner. What you want to do is you want to lift up the four corners very easily, and then you're going to, voila, have your container. When you're placing the seal on, you're gonna do the exact opposite. You're gonna place one seal on and then you're gonna run your fingers along the edges. Just go on the edge because you wanna make sure you're sealing it. Run it along here and run it to the edge. It's like playing baseball, all four bases. And that way it's completely sealed up on these long edges. You know, sometimes people will say to me, look, it's not sealing. Well, it's not sealing because that's where you opened it. When you lift it up, it's just like if you lift the tab right here on any container. So don't lift it in the middle. Always lift it to corners, run your fingers to seal, and it's going to be a nice airtight container. It is not liquid tight. Only our round seals are liquid tight. But man or day, this is going to keep your uh, baked goods and your delicious desserts fresh for a really, really long time. Now, one more thing I want to share with you because I absolutely love this part about it. We have our egg trays. These are our egg tray inserts. And look at this. The egg tray inserts fit right down inside. So you can put a set of three of the egg tray inserts right inside. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? So what do you do with egg tray inserts? Well, first of all, you can put your whole eggs in here. So this is 24 eggs. So two dozen eggs. They'll stay nice and fresh in the refrigerator. Because did you know that eggshells are porous? And they can absorb up all the odors in your refrigerator. So an airtight container is great for those. This is also great if you want to use this for deviled eggs. Love it. Because when we make deviled eggs, we go to a lot of trouble whipping up that yellow and a nice fluffy deliciousness. We put it back into the whites and then we sometimes top it off with some kind of garnish, right? Then we put plastic wrap or aluminum foil on it and we wreck it. You peel it off and there goes all the yumminess. So with this, You've got a nice high cover, so you don't have to worry at all about any of that. You're just going to run your fingers along the edges, sealing it all up, and look at the space that you've got between your eggs and the top of this. So you know what that means? It means they're all going to stay perfect. They're going to be fluffy. They're going to be soft because it's airtight. And when you remove the seal, it's not going to take off the topping as well. The other thing that you remember is that whenever you make deviled eggs, for whatever reason, when you put them on a tray, they always get a little bit of water underneath those. And as you're walking with like a flat tray that has just a shallow little scoop out for those eggs, those little eggs will slide right off and go flopping on the floor. How many of you have ever had that happen before? Yeah, right? So with this, 
they're not going anywhere because they're encased in your Tupperware container. So if you like to have deviled eggs for your parties, like in my house, it's like, it's not a party unless there's deviled eggs, right? Then this is one of those containers. So ask yourself, how many do you need? Because how many dozens of deviled eggs do you need to make? Easter's coming, so be thinking about that, right? There's another thing that I do with these inserts. I make my own peanut butter eggs. Any kind of candy actually is perfect inside of these inserts, but you can melt a little bit of chocolate and put that right in the inside. Personally, I like to use like a Dove or a Ghirardelli a dark chocolate. And then you're gonna mix up some peanut butter with a little bit of confectioner sugar. If you prefer Nutella, you could do that as well. And then you're gonna scoop that right inside of that. So now you've got a chocolate shell and you've got that peanut butter or Nutella insert. Put it in the refrigerator so that everything firms up. And then what you'll do is you'll put the two of them together. Or you actually don't have to put them together if you just want to have halves. I've got another recipe. I personally am not a fan of this because it's way too sweet for me. But if you have a sweet sugar tooth, you'll love this. You can actually melt your uh, white almond bark and you'll fill that up. And then what you're going to do is take frosting and you're going to add a little yellow food coloring to it and whip it up. And then you're gonna put that yellow frosting right on top of your white chocolate shells. And then you're gonna sprinkle it with red crystals because that looks like pep uh, paprika. And then you've got these candied eggs. They're so pretty and they're very sweet. So if you do have a sweet tooth and everybody in your family has a sweet tooth, you're gonna like those. Not my jam, but that's okay. I know everybody's a little bit different. So I wanna just come to you and share this amazing product because guess what? It is time to be thinking about deviled eggs, whether you need them just for the upcoming holiday or year round. So have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.